Hey all, Jacksonation here. Welcome back. Today we have the Zone Legendary Tournament Round 3, the finale from the first Legendary Tournament in the state of Illinois on January 19th of 2024. Very, very exciting stuff. We have me and Hazel Mazaz in the finals, a fire versus dark attribute matchup. Um, yeah, Hazel Mazaz, he, uh, he switched things up on me last minute. Um, very, very uh, frustrating because I prepared explicitly for the divine matchup. And Hazel Mazaz is like, oh yeah, I've been talking to Super Gumby. I'm running dark today. I say lovely. Um, but yeah, looks like we're getting our mulligans done. We fought very hard to get to this point in the event. A lot's on the line. Playmat, first place promo, a lot of epic packs. So we were both very, very excited. Also, the camera falls over because I am the greatest content creator in the world. Uh, phenomenal. Just the quality of this content is just unparalleled. I also accidentally reveal my hand there, um, if you caught that, <laughs> because I am a professional. But we're going we're gonna to start off. Um, we are going first, and I am... Basically activating Kai's ability before I do anything to burn his Mazaz 450. I set two face down and activate Abyss Lands. And we're getting straight into things. His Mazaz is playing a Dark Relic Shard for turn. And he's also going to be activating a Crossroad Deal here. Uh, he is using the Kage version of Dark. So he is... Uh, Going to be taking 300 burn, uh, damage to his Akne Essence, adding a shard, and he's sending a Magna Kage to Dark Zone, setting up his Dark Attribute shenanigans already, which is just absolutely terrifying. Um, <laughs> not great for me, because this is a best-of-one format, so if he gets his shenanigans on the board with a, you know, a Dark Bidding into a Magna Kage and a, you know, uh, Forbidden Alchemy, it's game over. It's game over. He activates another crossroad deal. So now he has two Magna Kages in the Dark Zone uh, if on his first turn. Again, just not ideal. Not ideal at all. But we are going to uh, try and see how we can counter this. Um, let's see here. What is going on? See, I can't capture the entire board, but... Uh, I think he is, we're just chatting. I had this a double speed. Oh yeah, he's activating for Binokami. There we are. So now he's getting um, an extra 1,900 attack points. I ain't letting that going through. So we get the Flame Eternal off, adding our third shard to our hand. So when it rolls back to us, we get the shard. We're also dealing the burn damage. Um, but yeah, with the shard, uh, we can Relic up this turn, Resolve Relentless Eruption, so we that's what we do, getting two Fire Elk Shards into Dark Zone. We're Relicking up, and we are also uh, using Abyss Lance's ability to get rid of our Shards so we can take care of Forbidden Alchemy, because I ain't dealing with that. I refuse. I refuse to be the subject of an absurd amount of attack points from a Stage 1 Akora. Uh, he is getting his Dark Bidding off right now, which I, I can't do anything about. Very, very unfortunate. If I had a Mystical Song at this point, I would be able to. And yeah, he attacks, but I have the Ancient Calling, so I can fortunately prevent a lot of damage from getting through. From this point, getting some more burn damage off, and I am likely going to... Nope, sorry. I guess uh, back to Hazel Mazaz. So he is uh, playing another shard for turn, setting a face down, which I believe is the Damned, uh, which we don't like to see per se, but it is it is fine. Oh, well, there I am playing a shard for turn. After that, I can uh, resolve Relentless Eruption, sending another two Fire Elk shards to Dark Zone bringing me to uh, a very decent number. So we're swinging for quite a bit, but he does have the Ancient Calling. That's right. That's what that was. <coughs> Bless me. Play safe. Uh, Dark Relic Shard for a turn. Not, not ideal. He's getting to five now. So once he gets his Grave Cove out, he's getting an extra 500 attack power. Um, he is using a Shadow of the Dam to get his third Magna Kage into the Dark Zone at this point not ideal at all. Um, I don't actually remember what he sends, but he's just basically using that so he can add a, 
uh, the dam to his hand. Oh, no, he might add... Oh, yeah, he adds Tomb to the dam. Uh, tomb of the dam. Yeah, I can't speak. Um, but it's not looking great for us at this point in the game, right? We, we definitely... We're dealing a lot of damage, right? We are... Uh, Deal a lot of burn damage every time it swings back to us, but uh, with Tomb of the Damned, I can no longer destroy his damned cards. Uh, he plays a Legion of the Damned, or sorry, the Damned Legion. So now he is gaining some attack points for his damned cards in Dark Zone um, at the cost of just a few soul points, which isn't a massive deal at this point. Um, it rolls back to me getting some more burn damage. Uh, I am playing a time reversal to re-add, I believe he had a face down uh, set in the obscured zone. I'm also uh, resolving relentless eruption in order to send another two fire relic shards to dark zone uh, to get a nice big fat amount of extra attack points. We're entering battle and I do believe it goes through. He's just calculating how much soul points he's losing. Uh, from Damned Legion. But yeah, very, very exciting. But yeah, he is getting his sixth shard, and he does have Grave Cove, I believe, at this point. Um, you can barely see the edge of his sleeve down there, which is not ideal, and now he's Relic Attacking. Um, it's not, it's not looking great for me at this point in the game. Dark, uh, there's not too much, too many ways to like manipulate the graveyard. I know I'm doing a lot of thinking here. Uh, it rolls back to me, and I'm dealing some burn damage, playing a shard for turn, and I think I'm gonna try and resolve relentless eruption, but I might be out of shards in deck if I'm correct. Um, and yeah, I'm just kind of debating. I am gonna be using abyss lands to get rid of another card. Uh, Yes, yeah, so I do get one more resolution of Abyss Lands, or sorry, uh, Relentless Eruption, bringing me to quite a bit, so that's 100, 200, uh, about 250, so it's about 650 roughly, uh, attack points from Relentless Eruption of alone, an extra 200 from Abyss Lands, so we're swinging for like 1850 right now, um, which is quite a bit. But Hazel Mazaz is just swinging for that much more that he is ultimately outpacing us in this game. I give him the fist bump, the handshake, and that is game. All right. We just finished our legendary tournament here at the Zone Grand Prairie. Had some valiant matches. I got some recording. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. First place. So it was just me and Hazel Mazaz up in the finals. Um, we fought valiantly, but unfortunately... Discord user Hazel Mazaz was able to take first place, earning this Seraph Zeramat and a legendary pack. Jared, get over here. Hey, get over here. Get over there. Open, open thing. Open, open cardboard. Open thing. Open All right. cardboard. Here you are. Open it up. Open it up. The first legendary card opened here at Zone Grand Prairie. Let's see it. Here we go. Oh. Seraph Zara, first place. Oh, Eternal Echo is legendary. Insane. Do with me. Card. He's getting it sleeved. He's getting it sleeved. All right, Mister uh, Mister Dominator, I'm gonna have you hold the camera. Of course. All right. Because ooh, ooh, it's all right. All right. <laughs> so I, in second place, have three epic packs here, and uh, guess Discord user uh, uh, Kid Kid Flash, Flash. Kid Can Flash has earned third place with two epic packs. Let's crack into them here. Baby, what do we have? If I recall now, rumor has it, ladies and gentlemen, there's a an epic four hollow sub-zero. Hollow sub-zero in these loot packs. Will you be getting it? Will you be getting it? Ooh! Tomb of the Damned. Epic. That is a pretty card. Insane. There we Very go. nice. Focus. That's number one. Okay. All right. Mr. Kid Flash, Divine, Divine offering. offering, Epic, Dude. very nice, <laughs> alright, alright, 
next up. Uh, yeah. Yes, it's Devon like Collins. yours. Confirmed. All right, it's next card. I would like to. Ooh, Ooh all, all seeing eyes. eyes. That's a great one. Nice. I will trade right. you for it. I will also trade you for it. All right, what sir. Because I start. play that too, Jerome. All right, all right. What's next? I know. Yeah. That's what oh, happened to me. Technical difficulties. All right. Got it. I need uh, Getting help. He's he struggling a bit. There we go. We're struggling. Yeah. Struggle busting. All right, all right. All right, let's see. Right, let's see. see. What do you got? Ooh. Quicksand. Quicksand. All right. Oh, Very look nice. at that. In our final epic tag of the night. What Will it be got? the sub zero? Will it be it? Will it be it? No. Flame Eternal. You, hey, you can use that. I can use that. Hey, you can use that. Rarity bump. My God. Sick. My All right. God. That has been another successful legendary tournament. Or our first legendary tournament. Thank you for watching.